What is going on everyone? So today we are covering a new quantum computer out of China. China is claiming that this quantum computer is orders of magnitude stronger and more powerful than the recently announced Google Willow chip. We're also going to cover China's Wukong quantum computer and the huge amount of worldwide traffic to that computer. We're also going to cover DeepSeek and how China appears to be gaining momentum and acceleration in quantum and AI. So if you enjoy content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. And without further ado, we're going to jump right in. So China has unveiled a quantum chip that they claim is one quadrillion times faster than the world's top supercomputer. It sounds like uh, a number you'd make up on the playground as a little kid. I, I'm a quadrillion times stronger than you are type of thing. Researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China have unveiled a superconducting quantum computing prototype that is a million times faster than Google's Sycamore quantum processor, which was showcased last year. And when we say last year, we're talking about three months ago. We're not talking about that long ago. Dubbed Zhu Cheng Z3, USTC's quantum processor features 105 qubits and 182 couplers and demonstrated its superiority in random quantum circuit sampling tasks, a university press release said. In comparison, Google's Sycamore processor, which had achieved quantum supremacy, had 67 qubits. We are still in the initial stages of this development, but China has already achieved the upper hand. China and US in the quantum race. The US had the first mover advantage in quantum computing when in 2019, Google's 53 qubit Sycamore processor completed a random circuit sampling task in 200 seconds. Back then, the world's fastest supercomputers would have taken 10,000 years to complete this task. In 2023, China demonstrated quantum supremacy using a 255 photon processor surpassing the fastest supercomputers by 10 to the power of 16 times. The Zhu Chong Z3 quantum processor with a coherence time of 72 microseconds, the processor can carry out more complex operations and help the team achieve a single qubit fidelity gate of 99.90%, a parallel two qubit gate fidelity of 99.62%, and a parallel readout fidelity of 99.13%, a press release added. So we just covered Dr. Kulkarni's interview on Schwab, and that is over here on the channel. Um, I do want to, if anyone is specifically interested in the China and AI quantum race, I do want to point to a few other videos that I think are important to watch. So we have our coverage of photonic quantum Wukong um, back just a few days ago. Um, one of my favorite produced videos on the channel is Wukong and DeepSeek. And I would say that's a must watch to understand sort of this tech arms race the US and China are in right now, especially on the front of quantum and AI. So what it comes down to quite simply is the US is currently behind China and it looks like we may be further behind than we initially thought. So as we know, there's a lot at stake. If we do fall behind in this race, one example would be that our encryption could be broken, our social media, our passwords, our secrets, our government secrets, our um, financial institutions, our banks, those type of things. As quantum computing advances, those encryption methods that we depended on in the past will no longer be viable in the future. We will need quantum safe technology. So let's take a look 
at the global visits to China's origin Wukong quantum computer, which has surpassed 20 million. So this was just about three weeks ago. In this quantum computer conversation and AI conversation, a lot of these things are just moving really fast. So it's just important to pay attention to these details and start connecting the dots. All right, so global visits to China's domestically developed third generation superconducting quantum computer, Origin Wukong, have surpassed 20 million with the majority of international access coming from users in the United States. The new global access volume set a new record for the scale of China's self-developed quantum computing services, said Origin Quantum, the developer of Origin Wukong. Data shows that the Origin Wukong is now accessible in 139 countries and regions worldwide. So this quantum computer was launched on January 6, 2024, and Origin Wukong has completed over 339,000 quantum computing tasks across various industries, including fluid dynamics, finance, and biomedicine. So Origin Wukong is a 72 qubit superconducting quantum chip called the Wukong chip. Origin Wukong is the most advanced programmable and deliverable superconducting quantum computer in China. Equipped with Origin Quantum's third generation of quantum computing measurement and control system, Origin Wukong marked China's first realization of automated batch testing of quantum chips, indicating that quantum computers' efficiency has increased by tenfolds, tens of folds, according to the company. We know that just in the past few months, as we've had big tech players like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft announcing their chips in the quantum space, China has been very busy creating their own quantum computers and advancing their technology. Let's talk about DeepSeek. So this article is a recent article from the Center for Strategic and International Studies. I looked over it and it's talking about the future of the US and China AI race. So it's a long article. I'll leave the uh, the article in the description if you're interested in reading it. Okay, so DeepSeek's AI breakthrough. So let's just summarize this. So China's DeepSeek was released as an advanced open source AI model, DeepSeek R1, which matched the performance of leading US models, but was developed at a significantly lower cost. This achievement challenges the effectiveness of US export controls aimed at limiting China's access to advanced AI technologies. So what that means in a nutshell is China is still innovating, advancing their technology despite export controls and limitations from the US. Reevaluating US export controls. The success of DeepSeek and Huawei suggests that current US export controls may be less effective than intended. These developments prompt a need to reassess the strategies used to maintain tech leadership and address national security concerns in the context of U.S. and China competition. So I've said on this channel for a while, and I'll keep repeating it, um, but we're, we are looking like the United States is behind China, and this will present itself to become more and more of a problem, especially as the U.S. positions itself in an adversarial way towards China. Um, China may use advanced quantum computing technology for cyber attacks and cyber warfare. And some of the systems that we have depended on for many, many years may no longer be safe. And that is what is on the horizon, the near horizon for this quantum computing space. So as we consider all of this, I personally live in the United States. What I would like to see is the U.S. be more intentional about their investment in quantum computers and this technology. All right, folks, that's all I've got for you. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have a moment, please leave me a like that helps out my channel and 
Have a great weekend.